This tutorial will cover the basic configuration of Sonoran CAD's database sync and database merge functionality. Database sync allows all of your community's characters, licenses, and vehicle registrations to be pulled directly from your in-game database. Before you get started, this tutorial assumes you already have your SQL connection credentials and can connect to your database from an external computer. To get started, navigate to the database sync panel in your CAD. This is found under Admin, Advanced, in-game integration. Scroll down to the database sync section and expand the connection credentials tab. At the top, you will notice toggles to enable both database sync and database merge. Database sync is a read-only system, therefore the characters, licenses, and vehicle registrations pulled from your database cannot be edited in the CAD. Database merge is an advanced system that allows you to modify the characters, licenses, and vehicle registrations by storing your modified copy of the record with Sonoran CAD and then merging all of the data together with your database records upon search. With database sync enabled, we can begin filling out all of the connection credential information. To follow the best security practices, it is highly recommended to create a new SQL user account specifically for Sonoran CAD with read-only permissions. Sonoran CAD never needs permissions to add, edit, or remove any records from your SQL database. Here, you're entering the external connection credentials from your database. You'll need to have already port forwarded or opened up your database port for external access. This is why it's important to be able to connect to your database externally from your own PC first to ensure you have the right connection credentials. Once everything is filled out, press the Test Connection button. If you see success, Sonoran CAD can successfully connect to your server's database. Press Save and move on to the next step. Now we can begin the mapping portion of the configuration. While this may look complicated, you're simply specifying where Sonoran CAD can find all of the specific data fields in your database. Let's expand and enable the Character Mapping tab. For the character section, your database will typically have one table containing all of the character information. Looking in Heidi SQL here, we can see that the users table contains all of the characters. Scrolling over, I can see that we have a first name and last name column in this table. I will enter the column names in Sonoran CAD exactly as they are shown in Heidi SQL. I will also enter the exact name of the table that these columns are found in. The character mapping column is important. This column contains a unique key to link other things in your database to this character. Generally, it's going to be the Steam Hex token. In this table, I can see that the mapping column, the Steam Hex, is named Identifier. So I will enter in that column name exactly. In addition to the first and last name columns, this user table has a few more fields, like height, sex, job, etc. I'll continue filling out any fields that we do have. If your database doesn't have columns for all these things, that's okay. You just need to fill in the red or required fields and can leave anything else that you don't have blank. You'll also notice there's an option to toggle the field as a JSON column. Here you can enter in the column name and JSON field key for a specific data field. We'll cover this more towards the end with an example in the vehicle mapping section. Particularly with characters, your database may store additional character information in other tables. While most of the character info is found all in our users table, I found another owned underscore properties table that contains some of the residence or address information. This owned underscore properties table contains the name of the property and the name column. Again, I will enter in this column name exactly in Sonoran CAD. I will also enter the owned underscore properties table name for this field as well. Again, we will need to select the unique character mapping column for this owned underscore properties table. In Heidi SQL, we can see that the owner column contains the same Steam hex identifiers that we saw in the users table. This is how Sonoran CAD knows what information belongs to which characters. So I will enter the owner column name in Sonoran CAD for this field and table. Once all applicable character fields are entered, it's time to test it out. Press the Test Mapping button back up at the top of the Characters tab. If you see success, you can save and move forward. Otherwise, you may see an SQL error message saying it can't find a particular column name or table name, etc. 
If so, check your configuration and ensure all of the column and table names are correct. Moving down onto the license mapping section, in our tutorial database, the user underscore licenses table contains all of the licenses for our community. I'll enter in the user underscore licenses table name up at the top. The character mapping column is important. Again, this is the name of the column that contains the unique key or ID of the character it belongs to. In the licenses table, the owner column contains those same character Steam IDs we saw earlier. I'll enter in the owner column name into Snore and Cat. Now, we need to find the unique record ID column for the licenses. This is going to be your table's primary key. In Heidi SQL, this primary key column is highlighted with a little key icon. We will enter in that column name as our unique or primary key for the licenses. You'll also notice that some of these mapping fields have a small database sync icon next to them. This means that they're custom fields for your custom license or vehicle registration record. To add, edit, or remove these custom mapping fields, we can go to the custom record editor by navigating to customization, custom records. In the custom record editor, we can select the license record. If we expand this top section, you will see a few custom record fields with the database sync mapping toggled. We can modify these fields to add, edit, or remove these custom fields from the mapping config. Just as before, once we've filled out all applicable fields, we can test the mapping and save. Continuing on to the vehicle section. The vehicles in our database are all stored in the owned underscore vehicles table. Again, this table has a column named owner that contains all of the character steam IDs for mapping. We will fill in the unique and primary key field and any other fields contained in our database. Here, I'll show a quick example of how a JSON field would be used. The vehicle column here stores data in a JSON format. I'll copy and paste some of this data formatting into a JSON formatter so we can see the data more clearly. I'll pick a random JSON property here, the vehicle dirt level. Let's add a new custom mapping field to our vehicle registration to display this data. Back in the database sync panel, we can see this new custom mapping field. Let's toggle the JSON column property on. We'll need the column name and the JSON key name. The column name in the database is vehicle. The JSON property key name for the dirt level is dirt level. Just as before, we will save and test the configuration. Now we can start viewing all of this data in the CAD. Back in the dispatch page, we can search for a random character. We can select the character and view all the information retrieved automatically from our database. We can also view the licenses. Also, we can view the vehicle registrations, including the custom JSON field mapping. This concludes the tutorial on Sonoran CAD's database sync configuration. You can register your community for free anytime at sonorancad.com. For questions, feel free to reach out to our dedicated support team at any time by going to support.sonoransoftware.com.